Hey guys, how's it going? I'm driving to Pompano Beach. We just got a uh, motivated seller who called us yesterday off of a postcard. We had a postcard campaign that was mailed out to people that are tax delinquent on their property taxes. And this uh, guy called us, he said he really wants to sell his house. He stressed out about five times on the initial phone call that he really, really needs to sell his house. And he really needs to sell it and get money in like two weeks uh, for something else. I'm not sure what. And uh, I'm going out now today on this appointment. It is a rental property, so he's actually got a tenant in there. He said it's paying $1,100 a month that's lived there for six years. And uh, he said he's looking to get $110,000 for his house. Now, I ran some comps on it, and it seems to me like the comps are about 180. So I'm figuring that um, if this house, he did say it needed a new roof, so I'm figuring if it needs 20,000 on the interior, 10,000 for a roof, that's a total of 30. And if I want to make a profit margin of, let's say, 20, 30,000 on the house, it sounds like a buy point of 110 is reasonable for that house. I'm gonna see if I can actually get a little cheaper, but I'm gonna go now on that appointment. And what I'll do is I'll hold off on posting this video on YouTube until I've closed on the house so that then I can do the following video showing you guys what the house looks like when I'm standing over at the house so you can get a feel for what a deal like this looks like. Right, and on this house, what I'll probably end up doing, instead of trying to quick wholesale it like a lot of people would do because they don't want to lay out the cash, what I'm gonna do instead is I'll probably just close on it and buy the house with borrowed funds and then um, once I own the house, I will advertise it a little bit more quietly uh, probably through my network and just see if I can pick someone up who maybe will pay me uh, 20,000 or so more than when I paid for it and just turn it over to them and in the meantime I'll just pick up the rental income uh, while I'm waiting to do that right so and that also gives me an opportunity to fill out the property and fill out the tenant and um, you know I might just decide to keep it too so we'll 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 go with the flow and I think that's a key thing with wholesaling, a lot of people are afraid to lay out that money. They're afraid to close. But you know what? If a deal's good, guys, don't be afraid to close. Borrow that money, sign those documents, and step up because that's where the big money's made. All right? So I will see you on the next video uh, showing you what that house looks like.